morning, I... I don't know what to say. Then don't say anything, because I don't want to talk about it. Tony at a loss for words? <laughs> That's a first. It's happened before, and it's never a good sign. He's deeply shaken. It doesn't really matter what Tony could have done. We must live with it. Let's... We should talk. You're right. Let's talk about how your mother just turned one of my best friends against us. I am sorry about Dr. Banner. It is always hard when our comrades fall. I appreciate that, Hunter. But you don't have to tell me about war. I fought my share of them. Then you know the risk. As did he. We're all willing to risk our lives. But this is different. What Lilith did to Banner was unthinkable. She changed him. <sighs> Listen, I know what happened to Bruce isn't your fault. But... But I'd be a fool if I said I trust you completely. You're Lilith's kid. Could your mother turn you the same way she turned Bruce? What if she has already? If that were the case, none of you would be standing here right now. You might be right, which is part of the problem. Oh, I don't know anymore. This is beyond anything I've ever faced before. These people look to me for guidance, but it feels like I'm stumbling around in the dark. I was told you are a soldier. I was. A long time ago. Then you know war is always uncertain. Learn from this experience and ensure that it never happens again. Or give in to doubt and surrender now. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. Not exactly my branch of the service, but I get the point. You know, I think I might have misjudged you, Hunter. I am the child of the Dark Mother. It is only right for you to be wary. I appreciate that, but the truth is, I was angry about Bruce, and I took it out on you. That's on me. I'm sorry. Let's start over. Hi. I'm Steve Rogers. What do you say we get to know each other? Are all modern soldiers as well trained as you? I haven't been a soldier since 1945. Then why did they call you Captain America? You could say it was an old nickname that just stuck. You still have not answered my question. Listen. Today's soldiers are some of the bravest, most dedicated people I've ever known. But my training was different. I volunteered for a special procedure in hopes of creating the world's first super soldier. It worked. But the man who invented it, Dr. Erskine, was killed soon after. So to answer your question, I'm the only one. There is something about you that I cannot place. You seem different from your friends, almost. <laughs> Older? I suppose so, yes. I get that a lot. Last time I checked, I was 102. But honestly, I've stopped counting. It's weird even for me. I was in a plane crash near the end of World War II. Went into the ice in 45 and stayed frozen for, well, long enough. When they finally fished me out, the world I knew was long gone. I understand we have that in common. It has been an adjustment. Believe me, I know. The world has changed a lot since you were last here. But if you need help or just need to talk it out, I'm here, anytime. I sense there is a past between you and Crossbones. He's a mercenary. Real name, Brock Rumlow. Does not seem to like you very much. We go way back. He even killed me once. So you are an immortal. Only if you listen to the Avengers marketing team. It's a long story, but no, I bleed just the same as you. 
Well, not, not the same as you, or Carol, or Bruce. Even Tony and Steven, I guess. But look, I'm mortal. How do you like being an Avenger? Maybe it's the soldier in me, but I just like being part of a team. Is that why you created them to begin with? I think you misunderstand. I didn't create the Avengers. I was under the impression you were their leader. I'm good with tactics. That's all it is. Believe it or not, I didn't join the Avengers until the first time Bruce quit. He didn't take that well at all. Nearly tore apart New York. Dr. Banner? Impossible. He's a different person when he's angry. You haven't seen anything yet. And still you let him come back? Everyone makes mistakes, Hunter. Ours are just larger than most. I am glad we had a chance to speak, Steve Rogers. I am too, Hunter. You're not too bad at this leadership thing yourself. Starting to feel like I could go another 12 rounds. No time like the present. See you around, Hunter. I trust Tony. Most of the time, he... Oh. This country is lucky to have a soldier like you to defend it. You are truly too kind. I have an idea to get Lilith to release Banner. It's based on this really old movie. But we need an old priest and a young priest. Hunter, I see the battle at the Avengers Tower has left you relatively unscathed. Relatively. But Lilith has done far more damage than even we imagined. Yes, I've heard about what happened with Dr. Banner. Lilith is flexing her power in more ways than one. If we weren't the target of her ire, I might have said I was impressed by her growing resourcefulness. She will resort to anything to save herself. There's more to it than that, Hunter. Lilith seems unusually driven in her efforts. You suspect she has something even greater in mind? You can be sure that Lilith is only going to get more dangerous the longer this goes on. And while we may be forced to wait for her next move, you can still continue your work on the grounds. You think it will help? The more you come to understand about your mother, the better prepared you'll be when it comes time to face her again. And if you happen to gain a blessing or two from the old gods in the process, I'm sure it can't hurt. I will keep looking for more of Wanda's notes and other materials. Let me know if you need my help, dear. Good girl, Charlie. I told you I don't want to talk about it. Not talking about it won't make it less real. Banner has betrayed us and the tower has fallen. As Lilith rises, we fall. We were always so worried about the damage the Hulk could do. Quietly cheered to ourselves when we thought he might be gone for good. We never once considered what Banner's mind is capable of, unhinged. I should have seen this coming. Beating yourself up will not bring the tower back. I should know. I've been where you are now, spending countless hours blaming myself for the loss of the Sanctum for Wanda. Yeah? Well, maybe you didn't blame yourself enough. Some of us don't shrug off our failures so casually. I know you're angry, but if you're looking for a punching bag, may I suggest using the one in the yard and not me? 
there you go again. Throwing in the towel before the fight is over. You're the only one who's fighting. Now take it outside, Tony. I've had enough. I fear the loss of his tower might break, Tony. I wish I could comfort him, but... While he often mocks my mastery of the arcane arts, I'm worried Tony's doubt will erode his confidence. We need... Ah, I see. I want to share something with you. Something I have never shared with another. Magic, I... When I was at Professor Xavier's school, I would listen to this album in my room all the time. Sometimes for many days straight. Why? There is not much music in Limbo, Hunter. Unless you count the distant screams. But in this world... There is so much music. It is everywhere, which can be just as frightening sometimes. Limbo taught me it was best to be alone. It is how I prefer things. You are not alone now. Good, you noticed. The others would not understand. But I know you will, as we both have so much in common. suppose we are kindred spirits in a way. Of course. We are both children of darkness who escaped our destinies and decided to forge new ones. We are both reformed, trying to be good guys now, even if we do not always succeed. It's nice to have someone to relate with. It is, is it not? Okay, enough talking. Let's listen to the album now. The second hour is when it really gets good. Let me guess, you're here to tell me I screwed up, that I should have taken the shot at Banner when I had the chance. Go ahead, Hunter. What are you waiting for? Say it. Tell me I screwed up. You did not do anything wrong, Tony. You just could not bring yourself to kill your comrade. I was weak. I let my love for him get in the way. No, Tony. Your loyalty and empathy are strengths, not weaknesses. The hell they are. They blinded me to what was actually going on. Damn it, why didn't I see Bruce slipping away? I should have known something was going on with him. All the red flags were there, and I ignored them. Some grand genius I am. I have three masters, a PhD from MI freaking T, and I sat at the helm of one of the planet's greatest companies, but I couldn't even see what was screaming right in front of my face. How did I let him play me like that? Banner did not fool just you. He fooled us all. Yeah, well, if anyone here should be foolproof, it should be me. You are not the first brilliant man Lilith has deceived. We are not in control anymore, Tony. No one is safe. No fortress impenetrable. Not now. With my mother emboldening Hydra forces, there is nothing she cannot touch. You know, this, this little pep talk isn't really working for me. Then perhaps I should take my leave. Yeah, you do that, boss. Leave. Should I be questioning your judgment too, Carol? Hey, Hunter, you haven't seen Tony around, have you? pains me to see you so angry with me. As it pains me to lose a valued friend. Bruce would be pleased to know you feel as such. He appreciates your companionship as well. You misunderstand me. I do not miss Dr. Banner. I mourn him. 
Yet another soul fallen to your twisted call. More lies taught to you by Sarah and her pet witch. I do not compel Dr. Banner. I released him. Released him from the shackles of those who've sought to control him his entire life. Such a unique mind. Such a powerful soul. Held in check for so long by his lesser. I cannot help but see the similarity to you, precious child. Will you not allow me to help you achieve the same? To find a true purpose. Achieve peace. I will only know peace upon your death. And I would happily die for you, if it would truly give you that. I am sure. But we both know it is far more complicated than that. My sister has raised you to be a weapon. Tricked you into believing that's all you are. All you want to be. I am here to show you you are more than that. When the time comes, you will stand by my side. Freely. I would never have it otherwise. And I thought I was the one who was dreaming. You have been asleep far too long, child. You must pierce the veil of their false prophecy and... Wake up! <gasps> Never get used to that. Ooh, magic surprise party is nearly upon us. Party is prepped and everyone did their part and I'm not even stressing about it. <laughs> that Parker guy is chatty, but he worked fast and made the time fly. That is good to hear. Oh, it's nearly time. Head to the party, wait with the others. I'll bring magic, you yell surprise when we walk in and then the party is on. I will head there now. <coughs> Haven't been to a just me or is magic not having a good time? I heard magic does not like surprises. No, that can't be it. We're friends. I'd know if that was true, right? I don't get it. Everyone loves surprise birthday parties. I should know. I missed out on a few when I was on the run. Why are you so concerned? Wanda is gone. Bruce Banner is fighting for the other team, and the world's going to actual hell if we don't stop it. A birthday party is a good way to lift everyone's spirits. I'm sure we can fix this. You mind letting her know it's time to cut the cake? Sure. Okay. I'll be right there. Did you get her anything? A uh, gift card? Uh, Tony! What a delightful distraction. Though I find my work at the Forge invigorating, the occasional entertainment prevents burning out. It is good to take a break when you can. Oh, I meant literal burning from the inside out. One of the hazards of manipulating Hellfire. This all came together nicely. Are you surprised? Somewhat. Nico's plans get ahead of her, at times. But this is... it's quite pleasant. Hmm... What concerns you? This party was a great idea. Maybe it'll cheer up the Avengers. You think so? It's a party, right? I hope it helps them feel at home. You know what they call this? The calm before the storm. What makes you say that? Just a feeling. This is great. I wish the other heroes did stuff like this. Celebrate birthdays? Yeah. I guess it's difficult when you don't know each other's real names, or actual birthdays, which would completely invalidate our secret identities. But why are we talking about this when there's cake to cut? From everything I'd heard about the Abbey, I 
Hadn't expected it to be so festive. What did you hear? Just the basics from Tony and Carol. They made it sound like a wayward home for troubled youths. Do you believe that? So far, I see heroes throwing a birthday party for one of their teammates. It's what the Avengers used to do before we got so busy. Treasure these moments. They'll keep you going when times are tough. Been a while since we've been able to let loose. The Avengers, you mean? Yeah, we've been busy. We see far too much of each other, and yet nowhere near enough. I can't stop thinking about Bruce. I want to hate him for what he did, but I keep wondering if this was our fault. He always gets into trouble when he's alone. Did we blow him off? Did he reach out, but we missed it? I don't know. Yes, that might be what happened. Do not let it happen with the others. Yeah, I'm not always the best with interpersonal stuff. Doesn't mean I can't get better at it. <sighs> Enough of my moping. I'm going to enjoy this party. I suggest you do the same. We're go for cake, right? Soon. And save some for the rest of us. No promises. I prefer smaller parties. My last birthday had 2,000 guests. How do you know thousands of people? I wouldn't say I know them. Most of them are business flunkies, glad handers, general hangers on. Half the night I'm shaking hands and managing expectations. I spend so much time as Mr. Stark, I'm lucky if I get to be Tony. Birthdays are better with people who know you. I'm coming around to it. Not that I plan to invent a worldwide crisis next year to have a cozy birthday party. Although... No, I shouldn't. Who is a good kitty? This is too much. It is all Nico's fault. And here she comes to fish for praise. I have endured enough of this. This has gone on long enough. You made me the center of attention I do not need at a party I did not want. So what do you want now? To cut the cake? Magic wait. Fine. I will cut the cake. Happy birthday? Liliana's my friend. How could I have missed this?
You should not blame yourself. And why not? If I'd paid attention to what she wanted, I wouldn't have driven her away. I want to fix this, but I, I can't follow her to Limbo. Although... Maybe you could? Tell me what I need to do. The Staff of One can bring you close to her. When you find her, could you talk to her? Make sure she's alright? That's all I care about. Is this a one-way trip? It shouldn't be. Once you find magic, she can open a portal to send you back. Hopefully, both of you. All right. Send me after magic. Okay. Here goes nothing. When blood is shed, let the staff of one emerge. Thanks for doing this. Any questions, or are you ready to go? What is the best way to approach magic? I feel like I'm the last person you should ask. I'm sure the others have some advice. I need a moment. I want to see what the others have to say. Can't hurt to ask. Tell me when you're ready and I'll send you to Limbo. Who are you? You made a wish, and I'm in the business of granting wishes. Tell me. Why does your heart ache? They forgot. Today is my... my... Oh, sweetly. Your birthday. What an awful way to learn what your family truly thinks of you. They don't love me. Nobody does. I can bring you to a magical kingdom. Make you its queen, loved by all in its domain. But you have to wish it so. I could never be as special as a queen. Now, now. That's a lie your family would tell you. I ought to know you're a very special girl. Before we go, I have a question. Of course. Ask me anything, my queen. Are... are you a monster? Oh, child, I'm so much more than that. I'm a friend. The only one you'll ever need. A house in limbo. What is this place? Hunter, what are you doing here? It is not possible to enter Limbo without my knowing. How did you get here? Nico used the Staff of One. Of course. And why did she not come herself? She thought it would make things worse. Well, that makes two of us. Wait, if you found your way to this place... 
What did you hear? I will never share what I heard with anyone. That is a kindness. You must understand, it is my deepest shame. The creature you heard brought me here, but my childish need cursed me to this terrible place. I lost my childhood to one bad choice. I trusted a silver tongue instead of my own family. I want to know who did this to you. I did this to myself. The creature held no power over me, until I allowed it. This day is an anniversary of my weakness. Nothing more. I should stay here this evening. I can endure the stares and whispers, but not tonight. We could hang out here if you want. I... I would like that. Do you like the music? I do. Hmm. Good. Why do you ask? This was the only music I had for so long. I found it in limbo. Trash, discarded by the universe. Is that normal? How can trash get to limbo? All forgotten things can find their way here. Even music, and the means to play it. Even now, I only listen at meaningful times, when I wish to remember the moment. There are more of those now, but not enough to outweigh the days I want to forget. Hunter, can we stay here for a time? Listen to the music? Of course. <laughs> Good. I'm not smiling. I am pleasantly surprised. I am growing to like you, Hunter. Why does this look like your room in the Abbey? It doesn't. My room in the Abbey looks like this one. For years, this was the only place in Limbo where I was safe. Where I felt at home. The creature said many strange things about you. How much was true? None. All were lies to manipulate a stupid child. The creature brought me here to rule this place, but not as I do now. It desired a servant. Loyal, unthinking. A stupid child who believed its lies. I took great pleasure in disappointing it. Could you tell me about the creature you mentioned? Something I hope you never have the misfortune to meet. I can say no more. Why not? It hears when you speak its name. I refuse to give it this satisfaction. What happened to it? An eviction, of sorts. A permanent one? That is my hope. I should get going. I will open a portal for you. Good night, Magic. See you, Hunter. Oh.